So guys, I'm going to take you through the elevated split squat here. So some one leg work. So what I'm thinking about doing here from the ground up is I'm thinking about gripping the floor with my foot. So I create the arch in my foot, first of all. Secondly, I'm not pushing, my, pulling myself backwards and I'm not leaning forward too much. So I'm allowing the hip, the, the hip hinge to do the work. So my knee is pretty much staying in a stable position and it's not going over my toe, okay? My head's nice and neutral, back's nice and straight, core's nice and tight as well. So I'm trying to focus on my glutes here with this movement and also using my foot and my quad and my hamstrings at the same time. So that's the movement. So a lot of things you see go wrong with this. It's not having a stable platform. It's not having a strong foot, so you're losing balance either side. So first of all is to grip with the floor. If you're not gripping with the floor, the foot will turn in and the knee will come across. So foot strength is important. Second thing you see going wrong is not having a strong glute and a strong foot together, so that will also make your knee turn in. So we don't want that. We want the knee to be over the foot. So by activating the glute, by activating the, um, the muscles in the feet and squeezing the floor, you're able to actually keep the knee nice and central. So another, another thing I see going wrong is leaning back too much and causing like pressure on the back. That's not good. So nice tight core, nice and neutral, up and down. Okay guys, if you need any help with anything else in the gym, please feel free to speak to a personal trainer. They'll be happy to help you.